Hey there, I'm going to do my thought of the day and uh, you know most of these are stories and, and I like sharing these stories because I just feel like we learn from them but um, those that follow the channel know I'm pretty passionate about checklists and, and uh, you know how we tackle tasks in an order and a method. What today's story is about is uh, I'm pretty excited. I, I decided to buy myself a new little toy and uh, it's a pretty big purchase so you know it's a lot of decision making it goes into that and I leave the bank late in the day and pretty excited and I thought, you know, I'm going to have a little celebration. I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, you know, go home, make myself a little favorite cocktail and and just uh, enjoy the moment here. So I go to the grocery store and I decide to, uh, that a Bloody Mary sounds pretty good. So I get all the little ingredients I think should go in a Bloody Mary. And uh, this is my whole little grocery list. This is kind of funny part of the story. I did get something healthy. Got banana and some uh, granola. But what, what happened was it's packed. It's five o'clock. It's in the grocery store, uh, and of course, you know, twenty minutes of being in line, it felt like forever or whatnot. And I, I get up there, and I go to pay, and this sixteen-year-old kid, I think he's sixteen years old, um, gives me that horrid, uh, you know, uh, information that there's insufficient funds in my account. And I'm thinking, what? If anything, there should be a crazy large balance in that because I still haven't paid for the vehicle that I'm purchasing. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, what the hell? So at that moment, I'm like, oh, did some scammer get me? Was this, this, is it my time? I hear about this all the time. And I'm like, well, oh, somebody's good. They found a 10 minute window to, uh, to take a bunch of money. So I'm run it again like you know mistake and so a kid looks at me the second time and says there's no money in that account <laughs> I'm just like hey I, I think there's probably a problem and you know how you start to get embarrassed everybody's packing up behind you you know I, I got my small little you know pile of uh, groceries you could say and uh, the the little lady behind me bless her heart says honey you know do you need me to do you need me to pay for your groceries and I'm like, no, no, I, I have money. Like, I'm okay, you know. And and she's like, no, I, I can help you out. Don't be ashamed, you know. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I'm just looking around like, what? What the hell? Run, run it one more time. So the kid runs it. And if, and he just looks at me with this look of disgust. He says, you ain't got no money. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. And the lady turns to me again. She says, you know, honey, let me, let me buy your groceries. And I said, ma'am. If I was actually broke and I was buying bread and necessities and milk, I'd let you buy my groceries. But ma'am, you do not need to buy me alcoholic fun fun. I'm going to go in my car, get my billfold. There's This will be fine. But God bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your kindness. So, of course, I got to scramble all my groceries to the side, walk the walk of shame out to my vehicle and uh, get my billfold. And it was funny as I was telling my friends, like, why wouldn't you carry your billfold? Like, what's going on? I'm like, hey, you know, a couple years ago, my chiropractor said, quit sitting on your wallet. It's hard on your body and blah, blah, blah. So today's world, who needs cash? I carry my debit card. That's it. As a local grocery store, they practically know me by name, right? So uh, valuable lesson in my own checklist. Number one, bring two forms of payment so I don't have to go through that again. But uh, it's, it's funny, I called the bank this morning, of course, and, and, and then what's worse is I go to ATM machines and it wouldn't work. So I'm like, oh my God, did I really get scammed? Man, I literally had to log onto a computer to see that what happened was they issued the cashier's check before they put the loan in and, and it made for a little bit of a you know 24 hour mess. So uh, found out from the bank, new employee, no big deal. And, and I think how many times it's important that we, we make sure and pass on to people you know, where their slip up was. I, today it would have corrected itself, but um, with, with that new employee, they need to hear these stories to know that, oh shoot, you know, missed the deal on the checklist, deposit money before withdrawing money, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, awesome, awesome customer service as always. Uh, but I thought I'd share that funny little story. That's the first time that happened to me. So make it a great day. Think about what you're doing. Think about the consequences. You know, as much as I struggle with it all the time, try not to rush. Uh, go down your list, you know, check it again. Make sure that whatever you're selling or servicing or providing for someone is not going to cause them uh, to have to stand in line and uh, not have no money.
Okay. All right. Make it a great day. Talk to you again.